Welcome back to Extreme One Chunk of Arlemore Edition. This is episode 6. For those that didn't see it, last episode we did thieving, thieving, some thieving, a little bit more thieving, tiny bit of fletching. We finished another task. Oh yeah, thieving. We did some thieving and a little bit more thieving. This episode we're going to do... I'm not going to spoil it, actually. I'll let you figure it out what we're going to do. With that said... It was requested that we go through a quick overview of what chunk tasks we actually have, just as a reminder. 67 cooking for tuna and sweet corn bowl, 15 fire making and 15 wood cutting to cut an oak tree, 43 crafting to cut a diamond, 75 thieving to thieve a gem stall, and 65 fletching to fletch the cut diamond into bolt tips. That's our chunk tasks. Let's get into the video and see what we can finish. Also, sorry for like the up and down audio quality in this episode and probably in the next like two or three episodes. The microphone that I had previously was showing massive signs of decline and there's a couple spoilers that you'll see during this video where it started to die. Uh, this is obviously editing spoon. I've got a new microphone. Hopefully it sounds a little bit better and it certainly works a lot better. So this will be the quality once I catch up to all the you know, snippets that I have pre-recorded, but uh, please stick with it for the next episode or two while we get through the little bumps, but then we'll have uh, much better audio and more consistent audio. All right, with one more XP drop, it will be 80 thieving. All right, so we did it. We've decided we're gonna use our books and lamps on crafting, so I started to chisel uh, while I wait for some of these. So that is level two crafting. Level three crafting. We're hoping to get to six, that's the goal. All right, that is 81 thieving. We are, oh, misclick. We are slowly on our way. We've started to destroy some bone shards. Basically, anytime we go by the bank, so like right here, I'll go and uh, refill on bone statutes and just continue to go, oh, hey -oh. Sergeant, we will do any random we can again because after we finish all the random uh, uniforms, we'll start getting more and more lamps. That's the goal. And speaking of lamp, I actually forgot. I already got all the randoms for the sergeant, so we already have another lamp. So this is actually very good. Mathematically, I'll finish all of these bones and then figure out which of these I should use first. But I'll just skip a couple houses and finish the bones first. All right, just got level four crafting. That's candle lanterns. Of course, we can't do that. We'll grab more and keep going. Level five crafting. Just after five crafting, we are at 10,000 plus bone shards. So that is our current stack. Uh, just coming up on 30,000 valuables and 600k coins with 2.2 mil, basically. All right, we are 30 XP away, 32 XP away. We will use the lamp first. That will give us to level six crafting, and then we will use the book. 90 XP, that is very big because that saves us a lot of lamps, or a lot of bones. All right, enough fun, back to it in between houses, but that is seven crafting. All right, and here it is, level 82 thieving. You know, I just had Boonatch uh, to ask if I'd put him in the video if I got a sub. I guess uh, we'll see if he subs. All right, I'm just mostly AFKing while I eat dinner, but thieving 83. Boop, boop, trying to get keys, here we go. I get one statue, like, every four or five houses and somehow i still manage just to miss every single level but level eight crafting that means lamps and books are just that much better now all right again we're mid house so we're not really getting we're not worried about the props or whatever but that's 84 thieving and we're coming up on a three million thieving xp that's what i'm going to finish out today and we'll do more tomorrow all right last recording for the night we hit three mil xp we also hit level 8 crafting today, which is good. Uh, I'll do a tally of jewelry. Looking pretty good. Decent widespread of some stuff that's actually useful. Uh, a lot of this isn't going to be useful, but that's okay. And then I realized I never, I don't think I ever did a 40 to 50 with the Master Farmers uh, tab update. So this is the tab of our seeds too, which will help us when we get over to uh, the chunk to the left if we can get there towards the wished way. But yeah, that's uh, it's the end of the day. Almost half a million in uh, bank value. Of course, we've got 700k in our pocket and uh, about 2 mil, 3 mil with valuables. So number goes up, boys. Number goes up. See you tomorrow. All right, so we finally got it. 
This is the clue step we were talking about. Search the bookshelf with a skull on it inside the bureau. And if we look at uh, the clue helper, it is in the basement of the Hunter's Guild, which is not good. We will go there real quick just to show uh, that the basement is not good. All right, so here we are. This is the only thing that I can assume is the basement. I don't believe you're ready to go down into the burrow. That's the only thing that makes sense to me uh, inside the burrow. So the one clue step that we thought we could do, uh, we cannot do, which is very unfortunate. And it took us, I'll check room lights, 121 clues to get it. And we can't even get it. So, so now we know there is no clue steps that we can do anytime soon. I'm just going to keep dropping them because they're uh, useless to keep in my inventory. And I can get them back uh, anytime I need if I come back here and pickpocket the wealthy citizens. But pretty bad news. I was really hoping we could get a clue step so we could get some maybe a pickaxe or a staff, staff of air, like anything like that would have been fantastic. But uh, unfortunately, that's just not possible in our chunks um, and never will be and just hash it one more time this one needs the 46 hunter to go down to the burrow and uh this museum required a turquoise top from the trino village so unfortunately that's just not going to be possible i think what i'll actually do is end up keeping this clue step and just throw it in the bank because i think sadly it is still our closest so that's all and there's 85 thieving all right this is huge we got our first fishing random. This is massive because we have no training method for fishing, but we do have lobsters and shark at the south end of our continent. So once we get uh, high enough for that lobsters, we will uh, end up having to get sharks. But at least here we're getting it to level seven fishing and get a head start on that. All right. And there it is. Level seven fishing. Boom. Pretty good. Hey, we got a genie. This will get me a level. So we will use it. Listen, it sounds crazy. Okay, I'm going to hold it until I hit the next level, which is 10 uh, bone statutes. And when I hit 10 bone statutes, we'll use it. We'll get another extra 10 XP, which is two more bone statutes. So it seems weird, but that's what we're doing. And 86 thieving. All right, so I've, I've talked a bit with some other chunkers in the CC just to get their thoughts. I think it's actually best for me just to use this lamp now. Get to nine, uh, boom, level nine crafting. And then we're actually just gonna dump everything in here, grab our knife, uh, and I think we have a hatchet on us. Yep, and we're just gonna go cut some um, oak trees and we're gonna start the oak grind. So the reason we wanna wait as long as possible for the crafting is that we so, so we can maximize the number of lamps and books that we can get that we can end up using into crafting to limit the amount of actual bone statues that we need. So we're going to sit here for a while, probably the whole fletching grind, to be honest, uh, do a bunch of arrow shafts. I'm not sure if I'll end up doing long bows just because then I have to bank and money is not really going to be an issue. So I'm not really sure if there's a benefit other than that. I think actually having arrow shafts later on might actually be okay to make arrows, so. I might just do arrow shafts the whole way. It'll take a little bit longer, but probably be worth it. Come on. Is it a spoon grind without missing level 28 woodcutting? I mean, come on. I always miss the level. But there's 28 woodcutting. 29 woodcutting. Level 16 fletching. Woohoo! 30 woodcutting. Level 17 Fletching. All right, Bob at random number two. This is huge. I don't remember what level this gives us to, but we'll check in a second. And I think it's level 10 fishing. Thank you very much, Evil Bob. Appreciate it. Just as a heads up so everyone is aware, we don't have any fishing currently. Lobster is the closest we have, which is down here. So we're technically we could get it next roll. Uh, having the fishing shop and this one has lobsters in it. So we'd have uh, fishing shark, which I think is 72 or something, 76, something like that. And then cooking shark, which is 80. Level 31 woodcutting. Level 18 fletching. Level 19 fletching. And level 32 woodcutting, just a second later. Level 20 fletching. Level 34 woodcutting. And that's 21 fletching. That's level 35 woodcutting. 
Fletching level 22. I almost was able to catch it preemptively, but there's 23 Fletching. There's level 37 wood cutting. That's level 20. Taking up the oak longbows, I will switch over from arrow shafts to do longbows, and I will be running to bank them because numbers go up and I'm a hoarder. 38 wood cutting. All right, these four logs should get us. Drum roll, please. 25 fletching. We will now sit here, mine an inventory, run it to the bank all the way up here, and on our way, we'll fletch it in two longbows. That's going to be the plan. Rinse and repeat. 18,000 times, roughly. See you at 26. All right, we're doing the first of these couple trips, but there's 26 fletching. This is going to take quite a while. The driver of why it's going to take a while here is just because walking back and forth, I don't have to run energy. So it looks like, like every other trip uh, is probably going to be like run uh, ability to run. If not, maybe even like I'll probably run halfway back and then it'll die pretty much every time. So yeah, run energy is going to be the, the stingy one here for sure. And that's 39 wood cutting. Well, I just skipped it, but that was level 27 fletching. All right, I'm a man of my word. We had a bet who would get the pet first. He got the pet first, this mother fluffer. Uh, he has won a bond. Congratulations, Mega Chad 2. You now are the proud owner of a bond. Rightfully earned. On to the next one. Just doing one last run before I go to bed, but... That is Fletching level 28. I will continue this grind tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Hoping maybe we could get to like 50. 50-50 maybe. Um, 50 Fletching, 50 Woodcutting or something in that ballpark. I'd like to start getting quite the grind going here on this Fletching. And see if we can't finish it. And get a bunch of lamps and books on our uh, path through it. After that we'll go into cooking. I'm not sure how I'm going to cook yet. I would like to burn as little as possible. I'm thinking... Um, tuna is, is an option, but I'll burn until like 63, I think. Uh, and then obviously swordfish, but I'll feel like I burn those at pretty high. So I gotta see what else the store sells. I think they sell maybe trout or like herrings. I gotta look at the XP per hour on those though. Uh, not sure if I want to do corn again. Uh, I mean, corn's not gonna be horrible if I actually get a source of butter because then I'll be able to make baked potato with tuna and sweet corn. And these probably heal pretty high. I don't actually know what it heals, but I ex expect it would he heal pretty good. So yeah, we'll see. But for now, level 28 is where we'll end the day. Fletching, 39. Wood cutting, of course, we had 15. Fire making a while ago, and that's uh, enough to, to do our chunk task for fire making. And then thieving, we, we got another 600,000-ish thieving XP today. So decent day. Um, probably won't do much thieving... XP until I at least finish cooking and fletching uh, and then we'll start doing the thieving crafting as they kind of go hand in hand Anyways, see you guys till tomorrow. I apologize for the early morning Grogginess, but there's level 40 woodcutting. All right, and there's level 29 fletching Oh, here's a random and we got a kebab and there's level 30 fletching. Okie dokie. There's 41 woodcutting All right, just walking back to get another uh, inventory done, but there's 31 fletching we're getting there. Hoping for 50 today, but uh, honestly, I haven't done any calculations to see if that's feasible with like how long it takes to go back and forth, but uh, just the arbitrary goal. We'll see if we hit it. Of course, you guys will know in 30 seconds, probably. Just finishing another trip. That's 32 fletching. Just getting some lunch, but while I do so, 42 woodcutting. I would never in a million years miss a level up. 33 fletching. Hello, Mr. Farmer. I got 34 fletching. Wow, 43. All right, there it is, 35 fletching. Finished another inventory. Looking good so far. No other progress, though, sadly. 44 wood cutting. And that's 12 times 3 fletching. All right, just walking our way back, making some of these oak long bows. But as we can see, that was 37 fletching. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Um, Not sure if 50 is going to be feasible today. It's kind of starting to slow down, but... Still going to be the goal. We'll see what happens. This is actually the next inventory right after we got the level for fletching, but this was 45 woodcutting. All right. Just hit level 38 fletching. All right. This is our first random actually in quite a while. We're going to finish that. And there it is. We got the ledger hose on top. 
we're doing all the randoms, right? Because once we can finish the actual random uh, clothing, you'll get more actual uh, lamps. So we definitely want to complete every single one we possibly get. All right. And just a little bit before. There it is. Level 39 fletching. Doing pretty good. Yeah. I don't think we're going to make 50 fletching just because I got some relatives coming over today. But um, definitely would get tomorrow. I think that'll be... Uh, Pretty much guaranteed, I think. There's a nice even level. About 40 in the account. Not too bad. We're getting there. And right when I got back to the oak trees, there's 47 wood cutting. All right, so this is part of the min-maxing that we need to do here to try to maximize any randoms we get. We're 144 XP away from level 10. We just did a sergeant random, so we got this lamp. Fortunately, if we use it right now, we will only get 90 XP. So that will not be a level. And if we had a book from a quiz or an exam, uh, it would give us 135 XP. So my plan right now, while it's going to take up an inventory slot, which certainly does not, it's not the best. My plan now will be to hold on to this until I get a book. Uh, I'll just do this for a while in, in hopes that I get an exam. If I get the exam... I will go back to houses until I get two bone statutes. We will chisel those bone statutes to get us to 134 XP. Then we'll use the book. And then after book, we'll use any lamps that we have. Uh, potentially, we'll have more than just this one. But that'll be the plan. But at a minimum, assuming we don't get any more lamps and we don't get any more books, we at least have another 90 XP here in lamp. So that saves us... 18 more bone statutes which that times roughly four ish in keys and then we save that times 17 in pickpockets so it's quite a bit of pickpockets we're going to save here uh just by one little lamp so that's why we're doing this so anyways back to fletching woodcutting if i haven't updated we're at 40 fletching and 47 woodcutting we're getting pretty close to the next level of fletching so i'll see you guys in a in just a few minutes and 41 fletching classic spoon just missed it but uh that is 48 wood cutting all right there's 42 fletching the answer to the universe and everything google it if you don't know if you know you know and there's 49 wood cutting all right well i did say that i was gonna get to maybe 50 fletching today but does halfway count all right this might be the last one that we end up getting today i gotta run got some family coming into town but that would be 44 fletching. Not too bad. Uh, decent day. Got up to 50 wood cutting. So I did get a 50, just not the one I thought I would get. Um, but we did get I mean, 44 fletching. That's that's a good start. We certainly have a long ways to go to get to 65. But hey, progress is progress. That's the way it is. All right. So I got to give credit where credit is due. And I'm sitting here watching Crack with the K's series. He just put out a new video today. Uh, his episode three. So... This might date <laughs> my where I am in putting up videos, but regardless, he just blew my mind. So, of course, we're in the same chunk at this point, so I need to do the same thing. I'll show you in a second. So I think everybody remembers when I came in here and saw the jug of wine, didn't care, got the axe, and was very excited, and then left. Well, what I didn't realize is there's a second ladder, and up here is an oak short bow which is actually going to be our best in slot for a while. Leather gloves, which isn't that big of a deal because we already had some. And a black robe, which also isn't that important because we already had uh, some, I believe. I'd have to go look at the bank, but I'm pretty sure I had some of these as well. But the oak short bow is actually really nice. We have another training method for uh, ranged now. I think it's going to be hard to get arrows compared to just the iron knives I can world hop and grab. But, hey, options are options. Anyways, back to fletching. All right, so I just got 47, and if you are keen and been paying attention, I missed a couple levels there in both fletching and woodcutting. I was playing on mobile last night, and I was exhausted. So anytime I uh, got a level, I just inherently clicked instead of getting screenshots, so I didn't have any of those. But overall update is 47 fletching and 52 woodcutting. I'm not sure how far I'll get today. Uh, my fiance is coming back from a bit of a vacation, so I'll probably end up spending most of the day with her. But um, yeah, we'll see. 
I'm hoping for f- that, you know, magical 50 that I said yesterday, but uh, maybe I'll get that today. We'll see. I'm not sure how far away that is. Oh, also, if you saw, I got a second lamp while I was on mobile. I got a count check and grab the lamp. I don't know if I want to just use both of these and save the inventory spot. That'll get me to 10 uh, or maybe wait a little bit longer and see if I can't uh, get the quiz book. But yeah, we'll see. Also, there's a plugin for random events. Uh, random event and analytics that's supposed to kind of like bring up a pop-up somewhere that tells you, uh, how long to expect for the next random event and like gives you at least a timer for every five minute interval. If you know how random events work, so that kind of makes sense, but I don't for some reason have the pop-up working. So I got to monkey with rune light, I guess, and see why, uh, that pop-up's not showing up. Just a quick little appreciation uh, for Chunk and Sale. I appreciate it. They were able to help me debug what was going on with the uh, random events analytics plugin. So uh, we've got it shown here, and I will do my best that anytime this goes to about zero, I won't be in a bank because they can't spawn in a bank. Other than that, uh, we'll just uh, kind of monitor that and hope for the most random events we can before we have to kind of force and use those lamps. We'll see. Okay, this is huge for us. Now, there's the chunk north of us that I've looked into as the sword shop. It sells adamant weapons and uh, Addy Simi, to be exact, with some Addy armor. That would be absolutely legendary and ideal. I'm not guaranteed that chunk. That is this chunk up here, which has the sword shop. I'm not guaranteed that chunk. And this chunk is kind of a death chunk at the moment. Uh, somewhere in here, I haven't explored or anything because I don't have another account, but somewhere in here, there is Hill Giants. So that means Curve Bone. We're right next to it, quite literally. In the off chance that we roll this before the Sword Shop, which is probably going to happen, knowing everyone's luck in chunk accounts, I need Mystery Box to turn into a Myth Simi. Like, that just has to happen. Or something more rare would be great, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And, and to be honest, other than this chunk, there's really no other chunks that are bad for us immediately until we get to either the Sharks Lobsters or like over here into the Coliseums. And, and I actually would prefer the Sharks Lobsters uh, chunk because it doesn't give me a task right away, but would give me um, Sharks later, which would be really good food to have. But either way, we're going to open up this mystery box and we're hoping for a Myth Simi. Never lucky, but actually amazing. That is going to be a best in slot for actually a while uh, until we get that that Addy chunk. If we ever get that sword shop, it's got Addy plate bodies. This is huge. I have no armor currently uh, for the top. I have black robes, which are magic, but this is huge. Uh, if we need to do any melee grinds, this is actually really good for us. I'm happy with that. And I just missed it, of course. Um, don't worry, we can walk over here. This, that was uh, 48 fletching, and I don't think I missed it. I think it's just getting really slow, but 53 woodcutting. Um, we're getting closer to that 50 goal today for the fletching. I think, I think I'll be able to do it. Um, we'll see, though. And there's level 54 woodcutting, and that's 49 fletching. All right, just coming in, uh, 55 woodcutting. All right, there's that big milestone that I thought I would have hit a long time ago. 50 fletching we are doing pretty good i have not gotten a random since these two so it's starting to get to the point where i've been holding on to these for a long time probably should just use them but i'm gonna be risky still and just hold on to them it doesn't hurt all right here we are i'm gonna start filling these in random locations in my chunks just for the heck of it but we did achieve 50 fletching like we were uh trying to get and unfortunately I've took too much of your guys' time. I appreciate everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that junk. Um, it helps the algorithm. It's just the way it is, guys. It really is. Um, anyways, please stay tuned till the end uh, or skip to the timestamp. That's fine. Um, after this, we'll go in and pick the winner of the bond. Uh, but after that, I, I created a little something, a little side project. I would appreciate it if everybody took... Uh, minute 10 seconds or whatever it is uh, to watch it give me your thoughts your honest feedback and um, 
yeah, it's just something I'd done on the side. It was fairly easy, so don't give me too much credit. And the resources to make it will be linked in the description. But I appreciate everybody. And uh, see you next time. All right, let's get into the winner of the bond. I've got the video here. Proof it's the video. Episode 5, Never Give Up. If you if you don't uh, subscribe, you should subscribe. If you didn't like the picture video, you should go back and like the video. Okay, just like me. Go back and like it. Anyways, back to it. We will post the video and wait for the comments to load. We will pick a winner, and it is... John Lambertson, 5805. Appreciate you for watching the video and commenting. Congratulations on winning a bond. I will message your RSN ghostly fetus, sorry, and we'll see if we can't uh, get a clip currently if you're online. And if not, uh, we will certainly do it at uh, earliest convenience. I will message you underneath as a reply to your comments. All right, so this is an alt of mine. Uh, if you're seeing the graphics, I don't know, maybe a uh, nudge nudge. Stay tuned for the next like 30 seconds or something. You'll see something maybe that I created that I'm kind of proud of, maybe, hopefully. Um, anyways, it looks like ghostly, ghostly fetus is not online currently. Um, I'll message a reply on the comment right now and we will make sure we get the uh, footage. But until then, hey, let's do another one, right? Might as well. Uh, again, thanks for Mark RS got this idea rolling so we'll at least do it for a couple episodes i don't want to steal his idea forever but uh we'll do maybe this episode and the next episode and we'll um keep it going but comment below your rootscape name and uh you'll be entered in the rolling of the next uh random comment selection for a bond giveaway appreciate you all and until next time see you later in the lands of Gilinor, there lies mr clay's Follow more where heroes roam with courage and grace. Sportus and adventurer with dreams so grand and vast. He sets out on a journey to conquer till the very last. One step at a time through the forest and the plains. Sportus seeks his glory with resilience in his veins with sword in hand he battles all that stands in his way conquering Baltimore will surely seize the day oh Sportis the conqueror of Baltimore's embrace your spirit shines so brightly through each challenge you face with every step you take, you leave your mark behind Conquering the continent, one chunk at a time